Hello friends, my name is Jitendra Bapna. Today we will going to see how to implement a unicast cluster for your MuleSwap Anypoint platform. So in my one of the last video we have seen like how we can create a multicast cluster using MuleSwap Anypoint platform. Okay. So first we need to understand what is the clustering. So there is a good documentation provided by MuleSwap. So basically how clustering works. So basically to achieve the clustering or high ability or like you know load balancing so you should have a more than one node in your cluster otherwise there is no use of implementing the cluster okay so cluster is nothing it's a set of mule runtime that act as a single unit so basically you have a server one so server two server three and the server four on the screen you can see that and it share the memory so basically uh, when you use the cluster it share the memory it also all the nodes share the status with each other okay they automatically do the coordination of the resources like you know so there there is also concept of server group right in server group what happens like you know all the nodes in the server or in the server group they are run independent let consider like you have application which having the gms topic listener so you have deployed that application on the both nodes in the server group in that case what will happen in that case the topic can have a multiple consumer in that case both node will read the message okay and process the message in that case we are processing the message two times and the requirement is that we don't want to process the message for the two times so how we can solve that concurrency issue that is using a cluster same thing goes with file you know file connect file location of shared file location in the case of server group like both the nodes in the server server group will try to read the file and process the file so here again we have a concurrency issue and this issue can be solved using cluster okay how cluster works so let consider like uh, we are like client in sending the request on the cluster the cluster will automatically distribute the request on the on any of the you know free node uh, least free node or like you know to the let consider one of the node goes down so like you see one first request is on node one the second request is on node two okay like what will happen node two goes down the second request will be processed by node one then third and fourth will be also come to the node one this is how it works see now we have received the order on the node one we have sent the request to second processor that is a process order in case like node one become busy it will send the request to the node two to fulfill the order let node two receive the request receive order it go then like node two become bit busy and it it seems node one is bit free so it send the request uh, like to the processor process order that is how you know then finally fulfill order will be done by node two in case like something goes wrong in between the processes the request will transfer to the other node that is how the clustering work but what is difference between a multicast clustering and the unicast clustering so when you do the configuration of your unicast clustering in the mule swap you have to provide the ip address of the servers okay and the port number so basically uh, so like uh, as i mentioned uh, earlier they do the automatically uh, coordination of the resources they share the status with each other so in unicast both the server needs to know the ip address you know uh, or whatever servers in the node number of, needs to know the ip address of each other okay that's why we explicitly go and define a ip address for the unicast cluster but in multi class cluster it should not be like that it automatically discover the ip address of the server so like and, and it automatically discover it and like then the, it automatically do the coordination of the resources you know sharing the status and all those things so that's the difference between unicast and the multi class cluster in multi class we don't have to define any ip address or anything i have shown this in my one of the previous video you can go through that video and like you know, you can go through the, basically you can go through that video so he, also you can read this doc, uh, document docs.muleswap.com slash mule hyphen runtime slash 4.2 mule high availability ha cluster so it provide like what are the issues solved by the clustering and all those things so you can go through that now we will start with some practical scenario so how we can you know implement a cluster so let me do one thing so uh, currently i have a single machine so what i will do i will create a two instance 
in same machine so basically uh, like instance 1 will be the node 1 and instance 2 will be the node 2 so like generally we don't create you know uh, multi we can do that but generally when it come to production scenario we will have a different server and the mule runtime will be running on the different servers okay and I have already downloaded this uh, Mule Enterprise Distribution Standalone Runtime. So you can call, you can also download from MuleSoft website. I will copy this, and what I will do, I will simply where my folder has gone. Mule Runtime. I will copy that instance at both places. Instance one and instance two. See, generally, why should we should avoid to run the multiple instance on uh, you know same machine? So basically, like if you are running all the application, if you have a domain project and you deploy the domain project on the instance one on eight zero eight one port, now if you try to deploy same domain project or you know let's consider same application, okay, on the instance two on the same port, it will not work because the eight zero eight one will be already used by the application running on the instance one, so you cannot use that same port for the instance too so that's why it's it's prefer it's preferable to use the different servers okay for each each mule swap runtime so you can run this application on the same port so like if you are running uh, application on the server on, on 8081 so you can do that like run same application on the other server on 8081 okay so that's why you avoid like if you try to deploy the application here Okay, like on like on the both the instance, it will get installed on one instance. On the other instance, it will fail. It will say port is already bind. So in that case, what you can you can do, you create a two different domain project. Okay, deploy that do domain project. One domain project on eight zero eight one, other domain project on eight zero eight two. Okay, and now try to now make sure like your other ap application, the ap refer to the domain project, and when you try to you know deploy the application, it will not fail. Okay, so let's start. So I have copied that uh, mule uh, runtime on both instance. Now copy this. Okay, now go to bin mule dot bet. Let's run it. Now let me go to instance two. Okay, let me go to bin. Then click on mule dot bet. Okay, let's wait till it gets started. So one of the mule shop instance or mule runtime has been started. Let's wait for other to get start. Okay, let's wait for other to start. Now you can see the application, the mule runtime uh, has been deployed or running on both the instance. Okay. Now next thing. Next thing, what you have to do, you have to go to AnyPoint platform. So you log in into AnyPoint platform. go to servers now first thing you have to add both the server into the any point platform control plane so for that you say add server and copy this command this is very useful command and like uh, paste it here and give the some server name uh, del1 del1 so that is our instance one and remove that dot slash because that is applicable to linux for windows we don't require it now go to instance one go to your int like mule home and bin just command prompt okay in bin folder you run this command okay so you can see mule agent is configured successfully now what it does so if you go to the conf it create one mule agent yaml file so this file is com used to communicate between mule cloud up control plane and on premise server Okay, and these are all URLs, so it uses different protocol like WSS protocol and you know, HTTPS REST protocol to communicate with Cloud Hub or any point platform control plane. Now, same thing we have to do for instance to go to bin, just cmd, use same command and instead of del1, say del2. Copy this, paste it here, enter. 
okay the mule agent is configured successfully and now you can see the yaml file is created here also next thing now if you see the server got added into your control plane okay so you can see both servers has been created just if you want to see anything like okay you can go and manage server you can see you know all the details like of your servers now the next thing what we have to do you have to restart the mule runtime i will just stop this one okay let me stop this one i will restart the mule runtime let me close all the command prompt i will again go to mule runtime mule bin mule dot bat let me go to instance to bin mule dot bat in once it started you will see the servers will become green so let's wait now it's running so and even you can see your server you know the web socket client connection is authorized on one of the server now this also web socket client you no know, first it dip, it start the runtime and that it try to connect with the control plane in the cloud up with using that mule agent dot yaml whatever configuration it's available in there now second thing create cluster so i will name like you know i will give some name mule demo cluster okay unicast select if you select see in unicast you need to give the ip address okay select both the server but if you select multicast we don't have to give any ip address here but in the case of unicast you have to provide it so you don't have to worry if you just in the drop down it will automatically show the ip address right now it will show same ip address okay and it will automatically use generally like let i will tell you it will use the 5701 port okay uh, uh, to communicate between the server now what will happen now we have a both instance running on the same machine it will use two port i as i mentioned like you know like uh, it cannot use the same port you know a different port or sorry same port for both the instance it will use two port 5701 and the 5702 and you need okay but if you have deployed your mule instance on the different machine so it will use you know both machine will use 5701 port so what happens here so this like both server will communicate on this ip address 192.168 and the port 5701 and the 5702 why 5702 because our both instance running on the same machine if you have deployed or if you have implement or like deployed the instance both the instance on different servers then it use both server will be using the 5701 to communicate with each other okay let me create cluster okay let's wait so still uh, okay so it got disconnected and let's wait uh, it will comes automatically up and just keep the eye on this here it will restart it will automatically restart your mule instance okay mule runtime let's wait okay okay it started on one machine it's trying on second machine okay so you can see your server has been started now go to manage cluster and server as i mentioned it will automatically take 5701 5702 because why it took 5702 if you are deployed this instance or on the different machine if your node or mule runtime are available on the different this port might be 5701 okay so other thing what you have to make sure so basically you no know, in your like enterprise or like uh, when you are working out a organization project on a real project this po ports might not be open in that case what will happen this will be running but it will be the amber state amber color and here you will see one of the warning which will say communication issues detected okay in that case what happens you are 5701 is not open into the firewall or it's not allowed in your security group you need to add those port 
into the into your security group and the firewall to allow the communication between both the servers okay i can show you one example right now this both you know both ports you know everything is running the cluster is running so what what will happen like you know it create one file also uh, if you see in mule instance to mule swap dot mule it will create mule cluster properties okay it will create one file that is the mule cluster property it will say like these are the ip addresses you know what is the cluster id this is the node 2 okay node 2 so like okay now i will go to instance one i will show you same thing dot mule and here also it create the okay open with notepad here it will be the cluster id will be node 1 and like the ip address remains same rest of the things remains in this cluster id should match with the cluster id there so that is important so like now what I will do, I will try to, you know, uh, stop one of the cluster, one of the server. Okay, in that case, what will happen? See, now it's disconnected. So it will say communication issues detected and now it become umber. So this can happen like, you know, there are, if the, if, you know, server are not able to communicate with each other in the server, in the server cluster, then we get such kind of error. So if you search on the Google or like, you know, I got the error via, you know, communication detected while doing the clustering. So you will get, you create the manual cluster or such kind. No, this error doesn't means that. This error means there's some issue with the communication between both the server. Right now I have stopped one server, right? There might be possibility one server, you know, the server is not able to communicate on 5701 and 5702 port okay even your even your both runtime is running and everything is running but still they are not able to communicate so such issue you can get uh, okay you you can see like communication issues detected it means the both servers are not able to communicate or both nodes or both mule runtime instance are not able to communicate with each other so either the either one of the node is down in there are cases where like both nodes are running but still it's showing communication issues detected and it's uh, the status is in the umber state in that case the port is not allowed in your firewall or in your security group make sure the port is allowed in your security group now what i will do i will try to uh, run which server is down it's in instance 2 i will try to run as soon as i run it will come up okay now it's running so now there's a no issue so all issues has been gone okay so even you can create the cluster manual so like you know you don't have to create the cluster from here just remove the cluster from delete the cluster from here and like uh, what you can do so if you want to create the cluster then in that case you cannot handle the cluster from the control plane okay so in that case you simply create this mule cluster dot properties and uh, okay uh, manually on the both the instance or on the both the node and just use these properties add these properties like even cluster scheme is not required you can say like you know nodes you know what is the cluster id multicast is false mute cluster id is node you know for first instance you always give a one for second instance you give a node two third for three four like that okay so this is how you can create the manual cluster also i hope you like this video thanks for watching